Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, give a couple of kind of basic, um, I would say guidelines in the talk. This is super casual. The slides are going to be available after the talk. The recording will be available within the week. Uh, so if you see kind of more content in the slides, uh, given that the time we might not be able to cover everything. So I'll, I'll give a kind of high level direction and, and kind of my talking points. Uh, feel free to post questions in the chat as kind of the talk progresses. As if you could prefix that with kind of a question or like a queue label, that will re really help kind of uh, me just go through them. We'll be tackling questions at the end. I'll, I'll reserve the last kind of uh, 10 minutes for questions. And then even after the event, feel free to connect with me. I'll share information and then on the event page as well. So um, I'll just go through kind of my talking points and then I'll try my best to reserve more times for questions. Um, again, this is just one specific area in terms of the transition part. Uh, I know there is already a comment on the page in terms of like, how do you progress in the uh, technical uh, IC track terms, like which is kind of a whole different conversation. So I'll try to keep it uh, holistic as much as possible. And I'll also try not to speak too fast because uh, I can do that at times. So I'll try my best to kind of uh, pace it out actually. If at any point you have any technical difficulties, uh, I know you can kind of, uh, I'm not audible or just let me know in the chat. I'll try my best to monitor the chat as well. With that being said, we already are two or three minutes in, so I will get started. Um, welcome everyone to this Code Mentor event. I am Anand Safi. I'm excited to speak with you today around uh, the topic of uh, how do you kind of uh, consider the decision of going from an individual contributor to an engineering manager. Um, I try to keep my talking points uh, more holistic because just to make sure like somebody might not kind of go through this transition ever. Some of you might have already gone through this transition or some might be kind of evaluating. So um, hopefully uh, this is helpful. Just uh, I'll say a little bit about myself, uh, not to spend too much time on this one, uh, but uh, it's just, I currently am a senior engineering leader at a public safety SaaS company called Mark 43. We build uh, software solutions for GovTech uh, agencies, specifically with for police, uh, fire, and EMS. Um, I lead uh, one of the engineering divisions there, overseeing two teams. Um, apart from kind of my day-to-day -day role, I am very much involved in industry mentorship on various uh, kind of platforms and, and uh, just connecting with folks across the globe on all things engineering, uh, tech career progression, and engineering leadership. I also do uh, my fair bit of startup advisory and kind of a volunteer board membership for nonprofits. Overall, post my bachelor's and master's in computer science, I've spent around kind of 11 years in various roles in technology, starting from an SDET to currently uh, leading multiple engineering teams. Uh, that being said, uh, today we are going to talk about kind of four key areas, how I see it. First is just, just a little bit of introduction and path to the engineering management uh, as kind of a practice. Uh, the most contextual kind of uh, part of the conversation today that is around suggestive signals and finding your why. Uh, I probably took the phrase from Simon Sinek, uh, but uh, just helping you evaluate uh, kind of the topic that we are discussing today. Uh, a little bit more microscopic lens on the core pillars of become, being an engineering manager. And then personally, just uh, making sure like why I went through this transition. And then just a quick plug for the importance of career ladders uh, and how you can advocate for one at your current role or your next role. Um, and then we'll wrap up into kind of the Q&A part actually. So just quick. Uh, an introduction and part to engineering management before we dive right in two, two important, very important slides. First is just this talk is about just common misconceptions regarding the topic that you get a promotion when you become an engineering manager. Uh, on paper, yes, like you could say you are promoted from kind of a technical IC role to an engineering manager, but I am pretty much kind of not of this opinion and I don't like this phrase actually that just becoming a kind of a manager means a promotion. Um, and it goes back to two parallel career tracks and this being two different roles actually. This talk is just touching on the 
career paths for engineering IT and engineering management. And then, as I said, the suggestive signals that would help anyone make their own decisions, actually. Uh, the, this talk is not about making comparisons on which to choose or kind of which is better. Uh, I probably not am qualified or I don't think anybody should kind of uh, instruct on just uh, what works for anyone else, not knowing their constraints or background. Uh, this talk is also not about recommendation, as I said, to take a specific track based on my journey. That's why I kept the rational part at the end on what kind of I believe in and why I chose this, but definitely just uh, open to evaluation. Just don't quote me on most things I say. And then uh, I'm not trying to create a bias or like favoring a particular track over the other one. If you see that I give, say, a little bit more context about engineering management, it's just because since I have been in this role, say, over the past five years, I want to enlighten people a little bit more on that track. That does not mean the more content you see in one track versus the other is I'm trying to influence that in any sense, actually. So the path to engineering management, uh, very simply, just uh, to put it right, like in layman terms, how I have seen it or have personally experienced is, it primarily starts as either a tenure-based kind of progression or an interest-based progression, right? Like you are a senior engineer, a tech lead, or a staff engineer in your company, um, either kind of yourself or the team or the org feels that you're ready to kind of get a direct report or two and become um, engineering manager, however soft or hard that transition is. So just like you have had the tenure and experience um, in that regards. Uh, 